doing well and I hope you enjoyed the show that was live just before me. I was creeping and watching the whole thing and I fell in love with so many of those pieces. My favorite was the Simone Rocha dress. If it was my size, I would have gotten it because I've never seen Simone Rocha for that price ever and it's such a gorgeous dress hi rachel happy monday and then that feather dress at the end you guys i had a vision of wearing that to the new york city courthouse when i get married to get the legal license that would have been such an iconic courthouse moment so good so i hope you guys enjoyed that show i hope there's gonna be more shows like that in the future because even I was out here freaking out and like geeking out over all of those pieces. Hello, Farah, how are you? Right, Rachel, do you see the vision? Also, I'm gonna tell you guys my wedding vision. Hi, Nadia, getting legally married at the courthouse, but then I'm gonna go elope in Japan and instantly be on my honeymoon. So I'm already brainstorming like iconic outfits for that whole thing, I'm so excited. Welcome in, you guys. Aqua, how are you? Kath, how are you? Happy Monday! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you guys are here. So I'm going to go over our opening spiel of a deal. You guys know how it goes, and then we're going to get into it. But today is all things jewelry and accessories from New York City. I have quite a range of price points. I have some more accessible jewelry pieces, some costume jewelry pieces. I do have a pair of sunglasses today. Hello, Echo. How are you? I have Van Cleef, Diamonds, Cartier. I have a watch. I have some brooches. I have Vintage Chanel. I have a lot. And we're going to get through it, okay? So first and foremost, anything purchased today will be shipping out bright and early tomorrow morning from New York City. Your customs and duties. Hi, Isabel. How are you, Queen? Um, customs and duties will be covered. And as far as shipping goes, you guys, if you are a USA customer today, you're considered domestic during my show. So shipping will be a 15 pound, pound charge. If you're domestic, anything international will incur a 35 pound charge, but your customs and duties are covered. Um, wow, Mondays I always forget my whole spiel. <laughs> we accept all major forms of payment, so credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, PayPal. Hi B, how are you? I haven't seen you in a minute. How are you B? Um, all major forms of payment are accepted and last but not least we do allow you guys to split it. All pieces today, I believe 99% sure, will be available to be processed via split it. In order to use that option, you just need to make sure you have the item's full amount available on a credit card. Only works with a credit card. If that's the case, you are able to finance and break up the purchase over the span of 12 months. You instantly get your item, but you have some extra time to pay it off. And if at any point you just want to be done with it, pay it off. You're not tied down to the full 12 months. You can just boop, be over with it like that. And there are no extra fees charges interest rates nothing okay okay I think we're good to go so if you guys know me and you know my shows you know that I rock with the early bird special so I always try to bring at least one maybe two sometimes three amazingly priced pieces for you guys to thank you for being here with me early so I am going to do two early bird specials today um, ignore my hands I am gonna be wearing gloves probably the whole show today I got a burn on my knuckle I have no clue how that happened and I need a manicure so the gloves are my best friend today and luckily it's a jewelry show <laughs> well I'm glad you're back B oh my gosh I hope you've been doing amazing though where did you go I also was recently on a holiday but I went to Vegas and that's also why I'm still a little sunburnt <laughs> okay let's get into it let me know if there's questions along the way you guys i am here to help as is rachel we got you but first item today rachel we are going to do isabel go girl it's holiday season it's almost june already can you believe it i can't that's shocking i'm scared <laughs> okay isabel or isabel rachel we're gonna do z 131780 131780 and the price on this is bonkers. And this is going to be our 18 karat white gold art deco style ring. This is unbranded and custom from the jeweler we work with here in New York City. Um, it features one fifth total carat weight of diamonds and a five eighth carat weight sapphire stone. It is stunning. I know, right, Kath? <gasps> Florida, Disney Cruise, oh my God, how fun be. I'm gonna go on a Disney cruise really bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so first up, I am going to get the size of this ring for you guys. I also should have kept my gloves off while I open these tiny, delicate little baggies. 
But let's start with the size and then I will show this off that you guys will not believe this price and again for all of these jewelry pieces i definitely encourage you guys once the item is pinned to take a look at the additional images and also the description of the items because all of the specs will be included in the description so this is going to measure at a u.s size six and a half six and a half which i believe i could be wrong uk girlies help me but i think that's a uk size like either l or m somewhere around that us 6.5 so let me put this on the finger and show her off because this is stunning. This is definitely a treat yourself piece in an art deco design. I think I'm going to have to flip my camera to show you guys the best way or the best view. Okay, so you have all these little pave diamonds making up the art deco motif to the face of the ring honestly it covers a good amount of the finger like even though the stones are on the smaller size for the diamonds you're still getting a lot of finger coverage which is beautiful and then of course you have that stunning rich super deep blue sapphire stone to the center i'm in like artificial office lighting and you guys can see the different tones of blue that are firing off of this specific sapphire it is stunning. Again, we're looking at white gold for the metal here. US size six and a half. It has been pinned. So when Rachel's ready, we will reveal the price. Definitely take a look at the um, details in the description once it is up as well, because it is a mouthful. But yeah, I did not come to play with these early bird specials, you guys. There's a lot of competition, not real competition, but I feel like Trudy in Australia, her jewelry pricing has been amazing. Obviously, Sabrina and Sarah and all the girls in London have amazing prices. So I just stepped my game up a little bit. Okay, so this ring is available for just 550 pounds, which is 685 USD. That is nuts. So this is the main event as far as my early bird special goes, but do not fret. We still have so many amazing pieces that also are going to have some wow price points, but I think this is definitely my favorite. Again, totally encourage you guys to take a look at the images to get a better idea of the design, but starting off with a bang, as I like to say. So I'm going to put this back. And then what are we here for today? Let me know what you guys have been on the hunt for, whether it's branded pieces, certain stones, whatever it is. But I am going to do another early bird special piece up next before we get into the real nitty gritty today. But that was a fantastic piece. <laughs> okay, so keeping it moving. Echo, the answer is it's a price that someone needs to run and grab. <laughs> It's a no-brainer price, you guys. Again, look at the specs in the description. Diamonds, sapphire, 18 karat white gold for less than 600 pounds. What planet are we on? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Up next, we're going to do Z131770. We're moving into a 14 karat white gold diamond framed pendant necklace this features one third of a carat weight of diamonds this also is a wow price point for you guys if you've been on the hunt for great quality diamonds but at accessible prices unbranded this piece is a winner as far as i'm concerned as well mimi how are you i'm thinking honestly let me be honest with you guys, I only have vintage style clip-on earrings today. I almost included drop earrings and I did not for some reason. So you can always email me if you're on the hunt for anything, especially if it's a specific brand and I can send you back options and let you know when I include it in a show, but I don't have any pierced or drop earrings today, unfortunately. Okay, so this necklace I am going to try to just keep on its post because it's all taped up. This has never, ever been worn. It is brand, brand new. I'm gonna pick you guys up again so I can flip the camera. All right, but we have 14 karat white gold halo set, one third karat weight diamond necklace. Off the top of my head, I believe this is gonna be around the 15 to 16. I think most likely a 15 to 17 inch drop link the um description will have the drop of this necklace available and again 
further images, but the halo set of this diamond is going to help give the illusion of a bigger stone. But with that said, the main stone isn't like a dinky stone. Don't get it twisted. It's still very sizable, especially for the price point that this will be at, you guys. Again, this is my second early bird special. I'm just going to flip it like this so you guys can see how it's set on the back. You have a prong setting, but it's done, like this looks like the shape of a star to me, which I think is really, really cute. Obviously this is the back, no one's gonna see it, but that's just a special little detail from the jeweler here in New York City that I wanted to point out. <laughs> yeah, another amazing price point. Mimi, today I don't have this in yellow gold. I can definitely speak to the team here in New York City to see if we can get it in yellow gold. I'm also a yellow gold girly, so I think that is possible. I just don't have it with me physically here today. So this has, oh my gosh, right, Daniela? You guys, how is the ring still available? Hi, Hannah. Happy Monday. I cannot believe the ring is still here. Go take a look if you're size US six and a half for a ring, that ring needs to go. This necklace needs to go too. So we'll get this price up momentarily, but it's 10 out of 10, unworn condition, still taped up. Um, Lily, I don't want to try it on just because it's still completely taped up in an unused condition, if that's okay. It is going to be, um, Isabel, can you drop the length in the chat? I can hold it against my neck though, so you can get a size comparison, but I do just want to keep it pristine. But this is 695 pounds, which is 865 USD. P, I, I figure so. Like that's the way it goes on these jewelry shows and I totally get it. But that ring, 18 inch. Okay, 18 inch, thank you, Isa. So here it is against my neck, let's see roughly so you can get an idea i feel like 18 inches tends to hit right around here for me but obviously even from a distance you see the diamond this is not a dinky diamond necklace even though the price would make you think so it is not just tried to come at you guys with a strong start oh hannah well the golden thing about that ring is it would be possible to size down as a general rule of thumb for a ring like that where you have pave diamonds, I can't be as confident in recommending sizing up, but you can always size down or add one of those like ball settings to the inside of the band to help it fit your finger snugger. That is a good option, especially when you're saving money, just something to consider in the world of jewelry. Okay, so I'm gonna keep us moving, but again, any questions, let me know you guys. Doing my best to be here to help. <laughs> Daniela, I feel you. I am waiting for this month to be over so that I can go shopping. I'm right there with you guys, so I feel you. I get it. Okay, so y'all tell me. We have David Yerman. I have a crazy Louis Vuitton necklace today. I have Van Cleef. I have Cartier. I have a watch. I have rings. I have a brooch. I have a Van Cleef ring, Chanel pearl, Chanel earrings, sunglasses. Let's do sunglasses. <laughs> You guys, this is, I cannot, okay, we'll do some PCA too. I cannot tell you how many times I hop on to my live shows here in New York City and everyone's like, do you have sunglasses? Do you have sunglasses? And constantly I'm like, I wish, because I think they're so fun. They're one of my favorite pieces to show and sell because it's like playing dress up. So fun. I've been missing out. So finally, I have a pair of sunglasses. We'll get to Chanel. I have some amazing pieces today. So we have a pair of Gucci sunglasses. I know, I go, I tried, it's my early bird special. <laughs> Ellen, how are you, my queen? Great to see you, lots of love for you, queen. Thank you for joining me on your break and I hope work is going great on this Monday. So we are going to do NW3345, I know, I'm obsessed. Just the sunglass case in itself, I am obsessed. It's like a chartreuse velvet padded sunglass case from Gucci. You open it up and the interior of the case is gonna be a sky blue silk. I'm not gonna show you guys the sunglasses yet because first we have to geek out about this pouch. You can, nothing is stopping you. Hi, baby, how are you? Nothing is stopping you from using this as a clutch, just saying. But you have the silk lining, Gucci branding, and then all of the original papers are still inside of here as well. 
So without further ado, these are so extra, they're so fun, and I've included them in my jewelry show today because even though they're sunglasses, I think they're pretty adjacent to jewelry. Look at, literally, if you're on a flight, use it as a pillow. I mean, hi Fran, how are you? So these are large circular Gucci sunglasses with a lighter lens, like I like the color of lens here. Really, really pretty, not too dark, just right. Kind of just what I look for. Oh yay, the person that was trying to get the Kelly in the last show, I just saw it went through, so congrats to them if they're here. <laughs> Me too, Hannah, no, absolutely. So I'm gonna put these on. I have, actually these work for me. I'm very picky about sunglasses. Obviously they're extra, like we're not gonna say these are casual daily driver sunglasses unless you're extra and I love that for you. But they're large, like this is total vacation mode. This is summer, this is Instagram worthy moment. But it's a large lens with completely gold chain sides. And then you have the chain drop length going down. Me too, B. I'm really happy I saw that go through. You have like gray tone tortoise shell, large GG charms hanging down. They almost look like earrings. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. I would pose it up in these if you're by the pool, whatever it is. They're a moment, pristine condition. They come with their dust bag and they have just been pinned. So we'll get the price up for these momentarily. So cute. All right, and these are available for 685 pounds, which is 853 USD. So if there's any questions on these, let me know. I'm obsessed. They speak for themselves. They're a vibe. If you're going on a trip, grab these. <laughs> I kind of want to keep these on. I don't know. They're actually surprisingly comfortable, and I will say they're very lightweight too. Like you would think that this would be annoying or heavy, but these sunglasses are super, super lightweight very comfortable okay so that is them we're gonna keep moving but that was fun so glad i finally got to show you guys some sunglasses it's been a long time coming thank you kelly i know i'm obsessed actually and that says a lot because i have kind of like a square shaped face so a lot of sunglasses make me look odd like i just don't like them so for those to be as extra and fun as they are but they still complement my face shape rare and i love it okay so Y'all want, what do you want? <laughs> I have it all. Let's do our first Chanel piece, I think. Can I bring you guys something super extra? Cat, I saw it come through. I didn't say it was you, but I said, I think our friend that was trying to get it, I think it went through. So, <laughs> I was behind the scenes on the last show. And I was like, oh my God, I hope she gets it. Fingers crossed, so. Congrats, queen. We are all thrilled for you. Well done. Okay, I don't know, this might be a little extra for you guys, but I've never ever in my life come across something like this in person. It's definitely my type of vibe, but this is gonna be ASL 4519, and this is a Chanel black ruthenium velvet tie necklace. This is a statement, this is not casual, this is not daily dainty wear. This is event, this is evening, this is formal, this is collectible, and above all, this is stunning. The serial stamp is really tiny on this. So if this date is in the description, is that will you let me know? Um Anduni or Anduana. Anduena, hopefully I'm saying that correct sorry but an lv speedy 40 in good condition do you mean to sell to us <laughs> yeah oh my god not in the description okay i can try to take a look to sell to us or to buy because i can't speak on to sell to us because i am not in that department i would refer you to someone else but um if you are trying to find one for yourself, a speedy 40 in great condition i think you can easily find one if you're patient under a thousand USD is not impossible, just saying. But if you're trying to sell it to us, I would email Kristen at luxurypromise.com to get a proper quote. Cat, it was that one. Yay! Okay, thank God, I'm so sorry about that. I was like, no, I definitely don't have that one, you guys. 
but that just makes it all the more special. Did not realize that was you, so now I'm even more happy. So well done, queen, lots of love, and congrats. Yeah, is that your first Kelly? Is that, tell us everything. Okay, anyways, back to jewelry. <laughs> So look at the size of this pendant. Oh my God, your first one, that's so special. I'm so jealous. And that's, the, that's what I would go for for my first one too. So well done, queen. Okay, <laughs> the size of this pendant is absolutely insane. It's kind of like a faux pearl detail, except the pearls, quote unquote, are done in like a deep, 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 almost rose gold on top of black tote. And then you have like a navy color and some gray, but it's in a diamond shape. It is huge. And then you have the velvet tie, which you can style in a plethora of different ways, you guys. You can wear this long. It's just gonna be like a bow tie functionality. Both sides are velvet though, but I would wrap this up a ton of times to wear as a choker, which it might be kind of difficult for me to do. Let's see. So technically you could just tie it once to be a choker, like so, but you also can crisscross it and tie the bow like to the side. Like so. Obviously get the tag out of here, let me tuck this. But this with a velvet dress, this with a night out, evening, formal wear, major, major, right, Is a Like, I feel like most people would just tie it in the back, but honestly, the double wrap is stunning. And it's not heavy, like, I don't feel like I'm choking. It's not bothering me to wear it like this. It is very comfortable. So let me see if I can see the cereal stamp on this. I'll do my best. I don't have a magnifying glass with me, you guys. Let's see. I'm definitely seeing an O, so it is a fall winter piece. I think it's 2009 is what it looks like. 2009, it's either 2007 or 2009, but it's fall, winter, early 2000s, and it comes with its box. So it will come with its original box and it is available for 1,250 pounds, which is 1,555 USD. So that was our first. I know this is a little odd. Let me know what you guys think of it, but I'm obsessed. I think this is very special, especially for our collectors out there. There's no signs of tarnish to the hardware and you do have a CC down at the bottom. Me too, is that Okay, I'm glad. We like the same vibe. Very special. Okay, let's keep it going and jump into some Van Cleef. So, ooh, where do I wanna go? This is exciting. Let's do, let's do the ring. Come on now. More unbranded necklaces. Um, cool, I do have some more unbranded necklaces coming up. But first we are going to do 131531. And I do have an 18 karat. Robin, isn't it stunning? I love it, like with a velvet dress. Chef's kiss. 131, 531, we have an 18 karat yellow gold Van Cleef and Arpel, Magic Alhambra, Mother of Pearl, Between the Finger Ring. Mm hmm So this will come with the box, pouch, and even the original receipt. I'm gonna see what size this is. Oh my gosh, yes, Ellen, for you, I'll do the LV necklace next. I've never seen anything like it. I'm curious to know if you've ever seen it before, but we'll do that one up next for you. Okay. Gloves are coming on. Here she is, you guys. Mother of Pearl has been so highly requested and hard for us to get our hands on. So I'm thrilled to have this piece with me here today. I am going to measure it really quick. Measures at just shy of a US six. So I would say like five and three fourths. Yeah, exactly they you cannot get your hands on it i've been waiting weeks to have access to a mother of pearl piece for you guys so you have the larger alhambra motif and the smaller one the band does not carry all the way around the finger it is an illusion style ring with the motifs designed to be in the in-betweens of your fingers depending 
what hand do you wear it on? So it will come as a full set. I am going to flip the camera so you guys can see it better. And I will take you guys into the natural light to see the reflection and the coloring of these pearls. But wow, <laughs> stunning. So here we are in natural light. My camera is not doing it justice, but you do get that pastel, almost rainbowy tone that shines depending on the lighting that you are in with the mother of pearl again this is so hard to come by right now it is one of the most highly requested stones from vca and usually when we have it it does not last very long because people are desperately on the hunt to come across it so here is an artificial office lighting as well it's very substantial in size though definitely like evening cocktail special event type of jewelry would not i don't know depending on your lifestyle maybe you could wear this daily but for me i would save it for special occasions for special photo ops if you will but again a full set even the original receipt will be included with this piece and when isa is ready we will get it pinned and up and available for you guys in the meantime though if there's any questions on this let me know we're here to help we got you but wow stunning let's see yeah definitely for me works best on my ring finger again for the size we are just shy of a us6 so more like a 5.75 And then up next, we're gonna do the Louis Vuitton necklace to see if Ellen's ever seen it before. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so this is available for 4,995 pounds, which is 6,215 USD. I was doing some research to see what this ring was going for online before the show and I only saw one other person have it on the secondhand market and they were selling it for over 8,000 USD, over 8K USD. So we're well below that very competitive price at 6,215 USD. Again, if there's questions, let me know and you can use this on Split It and also your customs and duties are covered if you guys are international and confirmed by Isabel, you guys, this is also under retail, which should not be happening right now. <laughs> Granted the rarity and the demand for Mother of Pearl, but here we are, did my best for you guys. So if you're a collector, we got you. <laughs> okay, so that was fun. I enjoyed wearing that. Put this away. And we are going to do 130731 up next. And this is the Gold Tone Louis Vuitton Pyramid Stud Necklace with Black Crystals. This is going to come just as is, no additional packaging or anything with it other than your luxury promise dust bag. But I've never seen this before. I'm curious. We got Ellen in the house. She's our go to the LV collector. This is substantial, y'all. This has some oomph to it, some weight to it. Wow. Wow. So again, this is known as the Louis Vuitton Gold Tone Pyramid Stud Necklace featuring black crystals. She's hefty. She is a statement. So it is pretty discreet on the branding element, aside from this one triangle to the side here. Atop the triangle, you have LV. Isn't this crazy, Ellen? And then to the back of the necklace, you have the Louis Vuitton logo inscribed on the main center triangle. Let me see if I can read the year for you. 2013. So the serial or date stamps are on this triangle, and this is from 2013. This is stunning. Again, it's a fantastic piece to kind of get you in the zone for mixing your metals. So whether you wear white gold, silver, gold, every day, this necklace matches. We do have mixed metals, and then you do have the black faux 
gemstones. I'm gonna double check that there's no little gemstones missing real quick for you guys. But that would be in the description and I didn't see that called out. So, so far I don't see any missing stones. And we are in the clear. No missing stones on this. Very edgy, very cool. It is a very adjustable length. So kind of hard to measure since this bit is gonna stay curved. But at its longest, it could drop down, like my collarbones are here, so below collarbone level, but I could do this up like a choker if I wanted to, which I think looks so cool. Or, wait, let me unzip the jacket. We gotta get the jacket out of here because this is insane. This is so cool. So it's pinned and available. Definitely look at the description and the pictures. But this is going to be 890 pounds, which is 1,170 USD, of course, Ellen. So I would rate this an 8 out of 10 condition level. There is going to be fine hairline scratches to the back of the hardware. It's not box fresh or pristine by any means, but it is from 2013. And to the hardware itself, there's no tarnish. The coloring looks great. It is going to just be the... Um, light hairline scratches mainly on the back but i totally agree isabel i will take this into natural light so you can see what i mean like light hairline scratches it definitely needs a little bit of a polish which i'm happy to do for you before it ships out but you have the lv kind of hard to show one-handed apologies lv to the side and then the studs very i'm doing a horrible job i'm sorry <laughs> there we go and then I'll show you the back of the necklace. So you can see the construction. And this has some weight to it, you guys. This is not dinky. You could do some damage with this necklace if you really needed to in a pinch. But just light hairline scratches. I think it still looks stunning. Wow. Okay. So hopefully that's helpful. Same. Okay, I'm glad. You know it's a good piece when we've even stumped Ellen, you guys. <laughs> From 2013, up and available. If there's questions on it, let me know. That's the only Louis Vuitton jewelry I have today. But I think this might be one of my all-time favorite LV jewelry pieces. Like, it's very, very special. So I'm gonna keep this moving. I feel like we had a request and I already forgot what it was. Good on me. Oh, someone wanted to see a sneak peek of the table. It's not very beautiful and you're not gonna be able to see a lot of the pieces because I do have them all in their bags right now. But I'll just kind of hold up and tell you what I have for the rest of the show, if that's okay. We have a yellow gold Tiffany double halo cushion pendant with a yellow diamond necklace. This is way below retail and this is a lot of bang for your buck from Tiffany. I do have an 18 karat yellow gold Van Cleef & Arpels free volet pendant with diamond necklace. This is all like protected right now, but I do have a 18 karat white gold Cartier Love Lariat necklace with 0.6 total carat weight of diamonds that I'm super excited about. And it's also well below retail for Cartier. I have an unbranded yellow gold diamond necklace five motif white gold i do not stephanie i was saying with the ring that i have that's the only mother of pearl piece i've had in new york in literally like two months they are so scarce on the second hand market right now so i brought the best of the newest vca that i have with me i'm always on the hunt for it for you guys because i know how hot and in demand it is but i don't have it today unfortunately Okay, I do have some David Yearman. I have a David Yearman bracelet and a ring. I have a tennis bracelet. That's a total of 5.4 carats. Yeah, the I can do that on Brandon necklace next. For any of my larger wristed friends or maybe as a gift for your mans, I do have a size 20 white gold Cartier Love bracelet that will come as a full set. I do have a white gold and a yellow gold, just some clue bracelet. I do have a um, watch for you guys. I have a Rolex Datejust. I have this insane ruby and diamond ring. I have a rose gold all diamond ring. I have a Gucci brooch. The other just some clue. I have some vintage Chanel 
pearls with clover details. I have vintage Chanel Rue Cambon earrings. Yeah, I wanna, can I do the Cartier necklace next? Cause that one's a great value. I have some YSL vintage earrings and I have some Chanel Charlock earrings. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Cartier and then I'll do the other unbranded yellow gold diamond necklace for you guys. But up next, we're gonna do 13082. I'm so excited about this one. I've never had this piece before. So it is the Love Lariat necklace. It features 0 0.06 total carat weight of diamond and the pearls, I got you girl. Um, and it is done in 18 karat white gold. So it will come with its box and its certificate of authenticity. So definitely a giftable piece, but you guys are saving a pretty penny compared if you tried to get this piece new in store. We are below retail on this. I made sure of it. <laughs> AC, which one? I have white gold and normal gold. Yellow gold. I like saying normal gold. Wow, this shade, oh my lord. Sorry, I haven't even looked at this yet other than when I selected it. Wow, this is special. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, a simple like pull on this and you can adjust the length. It's almost like a bolo tie functionality. My light is blowing it out, so I will flip the camera to show you guys better, but I am just describing it. The white gold chain is done in flat chain lengths in a rectangle shape, but it is so sparkly. This chain is seriously so, so sparkly. And then the connector of the chain features one little um, screwdriver like motif, like on the Cartier Love bracelets. This is, is a love collection necklace. So you do have the screw motif at the clasp. Me either, is a, and I'm obsessed. And then the dangle at the bottom is again going to be reminiscent of the love bracelet and then you do have a little diamond set in the center here so let me get ready to flip the camera i'm going to take one glove off this is really special okay so you can see the connector look how shiny this chain is again it's going to be a struggle to tell you guys the length on this because truly you can adjust it to be a choker you can make it long i would say at its longest it looks to be about 20 inches somewhere around there and then at the bottom you have the rectangular bar and the love motif with that diamond to the center so definitely definitely take a look at the images of this piece condition level is fantastic and it will come with its box so it will be giftable for you guys so so pretty here's that diamond center to the stone this retails for over five thousand usd not today today we have it for two thousand two hundred and fifty pounds which is two thousand seven hundred and ninety nine usd with box white gold with a diamond super unique piece from the love collection from cartier it's so good let me go in the natural light sorry i'm like a sucker for this natural light that's happening but let's see what we can do here like wow do you guys even just the fact that the chain sparkles so much i mean wow wow okay so <laughs> sorry i'm having a love affair with this necklace if there's any questions on it let me know cannot agree more ali it's my first time seeing oh, sorry hold on Seeing this in person, obsessed, is an understatement, seriously. Okay, okay, <laughs> I need to keep moving. We're a little short on time today, that is okay. So I'm gonna do the Chanel pearls next and then we'll do another unbranded diamond piece, but there's been a lot of good pieces shown so far that I'm hoping we'll find a home before the end of the show because I'm trying to get you guys some good savings. Okay, so up next for my collectors, we have ASL3533, and this is our Chanel Pearl and Clover necklace. This is the cutest thing in the world. I'm going to look at her. This is going to be from 1984. Thank you, Is that Yeah, I tried to get everyone's styles somehow in this show. <laughs> Trying to get a wide range for you guys, but this is 1984. Honestly, I can't believe that. This condition level is insane. So it features 
two four leaf clover motifs, double sided. We do have gemstones encrusting to the gold. Since this is 1984, this will be um, 24K gold plating on the necklace. So this first clover is good to go with no issues, not even any tarnishing. Second one, gemstones are all there. Same, same for this. This is crazy. So you have pearls, faux pearls all the way around in kind of a more natural cut. They're not gonna be all circular pearls. They look a bit more natural. And then you do have a push button lock with the CC Farrah, girl. I'm not saying you should, but I am saying you should, if that's the case. <laughs> you have the push lock clasp with the CCs. I'll try for you, Lily. And then you do have the, the only condition call out on this is there's slight tarnishing just to the serial little charm. But wow, wow. I do have BCA, I've shown a ring so far. I do have another BCA necklace coming up. I don't have any Hermes today and I don't have any Cartier earrings today. I'm light on earrings today, but I definitely can bring some more in the next jewelry show for you guys. Okay, I have always a spaz with opening jewelry. Fret not, this is no shade to the jewelry pieces. This is just me not being able to function. <laughs> ever with jewelry. What? It's literally so simple. Like in theory, I know what I should be doing, but maybe I don't know in theory what I should be doing. Okay. <laughs> Once you get it open, which I know you can, I literally opened it yesterday, but just to give you an idea, because I'm light on time you can double this up absolutely and wear it strategically to either have both of the four leaf clovers showing like on one side doubled up like so or if you wear it long it will go to your mid body so just a little bit below my bust is where the necklace is hitting and then you can see you can wear a clover up here one down here let's see Yes, so the tarnish, I was saying, Farah, the tarnish is not on the clovers. Let me flip the camera. It is very minor considering the age of this piece. So it's just going to be on the clasp to the back of the clasp right along here. Clasp looks fine. But the back of the, sorry, excuse my fingers, the back of the serial code or the date stamp because the front looks good. The back just has some slight tarnish. Oh my gosh, thank you, Aria. <laughs> but the clovers do not have any tarnish, which if this is from 1984, that is very, very special. And the pearls all look good as well. So there's the other clover, so you can see. And then I'll look at the pearls. So hopefully that's helping. Look at the images as well. If there's any questions let me know but I did bring the price down a little bit before the show for you guys I believe this was up for closer to 1800 USD before so I got you guys this is available for 1120 pounds or 1394 USD a fantastic price for a really unique piece 1984 Pearls, clovers, gold, all things Chanel. It does not come with its original box, unfortunately. It will come with one of these turquoise ones, but it will come with a Luxury Promise dust bag. That's a good call out. I should have mentioned that earlier, but this is gonna be the necklace as is, which is pretty common. The older we get with jewelry and obviously bags, it's less common for it to still have its original bits and pieces. And if it does, that does cause the price to be a bit higher if it is a full set. All right, so let me know if I can help persuade. I definitely would go for this. Very rare, very stunning, and the price is so good. So gonna keep us moving. I promise I would do this other unbranded necklace up next. So we're gonna do Z127397. And this is going to be our 14 karat yellow gold, one and a half, 1.5 total karat weight diamond smile necklace again this is another unbranded piece that we get from the jeweler we work with here in new york city so same thing as that first unbranded necklace which how is that still here the first two pieces i showed today should not still be available just saying 
but <laughs> this is still ultra pristine, still taped up, never been worn, so I am going to keep it that way for sake of showing you guys. But this does have a total carat weight of one and a half diamonds done in this smile shaped pendant i will take you over to the natural light so we can see how stunning these diamonds are so the center diamond is going to be the largest and then they taper in size along the ends there they are set fully around so let me show you guys the back so very secure diamonds in the setting and the design of the setting, the fact that they're set in a solid bar of gold to the back is gonna help them, like it just helps with the durability and the strength of this piece with time. Super, super pretty. Again, once this is um, pinned, take a look at the description for the full details on the diamonds, as well as the length. Super high quality Pave diamonds. Our jeweler here in New York City is amazing, especially they specialize here with the Pave diamonds. So anything I have in general that has smaller diamonds is like top notch quality in New York City. I'm glad you guys are loving this one. I'm also completely obsessed. So again, keep in mind, this is one and a half carat weight of diamond. It's available for 1,845 pounds, which is 2,294. USD. And if you guys want to check out additional details, you can do so. And remember, customs and duties are covered if you are international and you can use the split it on these pieces with me here today. So pristine, never been worn, stunning, and that's the only yellow gold unbranded piece I have today. Yes, of course, Lily. I have pearl Rukemwan earrings, and I also have turn lock earrings, and I also have YSL earrings, so maybe we'll just power through the three of those next because they're all fantastic price points. So we're going to do um, ASL 2226, and I know that this piece has a very thorough description once it is pinned. I was looking at it earlier, and I was like, who at Luxury Promise wrote a whole novel about the... <laughs> Let me double check for you, P. I believe it is adjustable. Let's see, I'm going to delicately try to dive in here and keep it fresh in its box. Let's see. How does this box even work? Yes, I see. So it is still like taped up in the back, but I do see a clasp and I do see different larger um, O-rings, so it should be adjustable. Let me know if it shows in the description the length. If not, I can take it out and show you, but I just want to try to keep it pristine. My guess, again, I'm going to guess between 15 to 17 inches, right around there. But let me know and I can confirm if you need. So ASL 2226, and these are Chanel 31 Rue Cambon clip-on vintage earrings. Quite sizable. <laughs> So you have the faux pearl with no chipping, no damage, no tarnish to the center of the clip-ons. And then in the gold around it, it says Chanel upon the top, 31 Rue Cambon. And it even has the old telephone number. This is full OG Chanel branding to the gold hardware on these earrings, which I'm obsessed with. Let's see, here is the back. Let's see. Yes, of course, Ellen. Definitely well. It's pristine. It's also one of our unbranded pieces that we get from the jewelry here in New York City. Price point was amazing. I believe it was one third total carat weight, but it's really cute and the price is super, super worth it. So slight little bit of tarnish to the back of these earrings. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, I think these are, these have to be from the eighties. It will be in the description as I was saying, but these are pre serial stamped pieces which means too that it's gonna be 24K gold plating to these earrings. So I would give these an eight out of 10 condition. The front looks amazing. It's just a little bit of cleanup needed to the back. I wouldn't say as much tarnishing as it is cleanup needed. Exactly, Isabel. Like I'm never too picky about that and it is very minor because the actual plate of the back of the earrings looks great. It's just the back of the clips that need a little love, but the front is good to go. These are 80s true vintage available for 820 pounds, which is 1,020 USD. All right, let me know if there's questions. I'm gonna do a similar style, but at a different price point of earrings for you guys up next. 
So we are gonna do, actually Ellen, just really quick, I will flash you the necklace. So it is still with its box taped up on the back, so I'm not gonna take it off. But I do just wanna show you it since you missed it and the price is so good. There, let me flip the camera. So it's white gold, 18 karat halo set diamond necklace pristine, never ever been worn, made custom here in New York City. So it has been repinned. Take a look at the images and the description to get the full specs, but definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this one. The price was amazing. So hopefully that helps and I can do a more in-depth recap at the end, but I know you're at work, so I wanted to just show you real quick. Lily, let me check. Okay, I am gonna untape it even though it feels wrong to do so. So this one unfortunately is not adjustable. The other, the yellow gold one was. So let me measure this for you guys. I only have this measurer with me, but it should work. All right, so the drop on this is hitting nine inches nine inch drop so about 18 inch total length no worries okay yeah this one is 18 let me check the yellow gold one sorry guys i thought it would be in the description maybe very delicate in putting this back oh man the things i do for you guys just kidding but I'm always so cautious. Okay, Good. survived that. So, oh man, I put it in backwards. Okay, I'll fix that later. And then the yellow gold one. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Yellow gold is confirmed adjustable you guys can see there's an extra little loop here that the other one didn't have and yeah exactly what Isabel is saying it is a super easy thing to get your jewelry custom fit to whatever length your heart desires the most so this one is going to also have a max length of 18 inches but this one goes to 14 inches so 14 or 18. Let me double check that. I will class that on the shorter one to make sure it's 14 and not 15 for sure. Apologies again, you guys. I swore that this was in the description, so that's my bad. Let's see. So the max length was 18 and then <laughs> I'm so sorry guys 18 with a difference of two inches so 18 cents 16 to 18 inches final answer confirmed for this gold one 16 to 18 inches sorry that was a struggle for my brain uh how to clean color transfer oh yeah yeah depends on the type of material but we can help with that. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Apologies, you guys. Thank you for staying with me. And we're gonna keep moving. So both of them, max length, 18 inches. The yellow gold one can go down to 16 inches. Boom, confirmed. Of course, Lily. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay. Let's keep going let's do what should we do guys oh i was gonna do those earrings next where did they go okay so <laughs> isabel we're gonna do 424-8867 if you like the look of the previous chanel clip vintage earrings 
but they are a little pricey for you maybe. This is a great option to get a similar look, but from Yves Saint Laurent. These are also vintage, they're also clip-ons, they also feature a pearl detail, but for a fraction of the price of the Chanel ones. So these are the Yves Saint Laurent Co. Faux Pearl YSL Vintage Clip Earrings. So the faux pearl is smaller to these ones and you have a larger um, gold detailing around the pearl in this ornate four pronged detail setting. And then the back of the earring does have a YSL logo stamping. There's slight, slight minuscule amount of tarnish I would say, I would give this like a 7.5 out of 10 condition level. Again, same as the last, the front looks amazing. There is a bit of tarnish to the back here that has been factored into the price. I'll show you guys the other side too. There's a little bit of tarnish happening to the back gold plating, but none at all to the front gold plating here. So these have just been pinned. Look at the price up momentarily. I am going to move a little bit quicker now because we have less than an hour and I do want to include time for a recap for you guys. Let's see. Yay! Thanks for helping, Daniela Iza. We love it. Okay. So, do you guys see that price? Another one, if no one buys these, I'm literally going to walk away. <laughs> Just kidding, but seriously, for vintage YSL, 235 pounds, which is 293 USD. So, need I say more? Okay, we'll sit on it, we'll let it linger as the cranberries would say. <laughs> but I'm tempted at that price. Less than 300 USD for vintage YSL. Okay, let's keep it going. There's questions on them, let me know. Um, M Dreamers, come to the website luxurypromise.com. That's where you're going to be able to purchase. But those earrings were 235 pounds, which is 293 USD for vintage YSL. All right, we're moving, we're grooving, you guys. <laughs> let's see. Let's do, let's do brooch next. We're going to do 125092. And this is well below retail, first of all, but this is going to be our silver toned Gucci crystal butterfly brooch and it will come with this box in its pouch so it can be giftable. I know this retails for over $500 USD, I think closer to six or $700 USD. It's in a pristine condition level, no missing gemstones, and we're going to be well, well, well below retail here for you guys. So it is a very sizable butterfly motif, motif, completely blinged out. You have the interlocking GG to one side of the butterfly's wing. This is a very large piece, you guys. I do, Penny. I have white gold and yellow gold. Let me know if you have a preference, um, and I can get to those soon for you. So I'm going to say... It is classified as a brooch, but you can't pin it through. It is going to be this type of a clasp. So I feel like this would work better almost as a hair, hair clip. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Obviously you could put like a scarf through this and pin this to the front like so, but since there is no needle to pin through, I honestly kind of prefer that. Yeah, collar of the shirt, belt loop to a tie, necklace, hair clip. That's, that's how I would do it. That's so cool. Okay. So we're in a pristine condition level. It will come with its full set of the box and the pouch, so you can get this. It has just been pinned. And we'll get that price revealed momentarily. Again, I know this retails for over 500, I think even beyond 500 USD. So 
This is available for just 310 pounds, which is 386 USD. Again, I feel like your standard brooch is gonna be more like this type of size. So this is quite large in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, retails 670 USD plus tax. So when all is said and done, if you're to buy this new, you're looking at closer to $700. We're at 386 USD. I'm gonna measure the width of this because I can't emphasize how, yeah, this measures three inches wide. Three inches by two, three by two. All right, gotta keep moving, but I love this. The savings are immaculate. Do not sleep on her. Let's do some just on clues. Let's do back to back, just on clue moment for you guys. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do AWL3637, and this is the AT bracelets. Oh my gosh, did I just lose connection? Hopefully not. <laughs> Let's see here. So this will come with its booklet, its box, all bits and pieces. It is a size 17, size 17 on this. Full set. I will apply my gloves. We're looking at a size 7. Isn't it good, Lydia? You guys, so many good pieces. Hopefully some sales will come through at the end of the show. I know you guys like to wait, like on a jewelry show. I know at this point that you guys like to see everything before you decide, so I'm going to keep going. But I'll let you know once we're through showing the new pieces because these items need homes. Okay, so again, size 17, full box set, recently polished beautiful beautiful gold cartier just on clip this is the normal size it's not the small model traditional i feel like size 17 is a highly highly requested size from you guys in general i am me and grace we both struggle opening these like i know how to open it but when you're put in a pressure situation to open it it never there we go simple as that so no condition call outs here. It is in fantastic shape. Size 17, full set, yellow gold, Cartier, just on clue. So we'll get this up momentarily. This definitely, like in my experience, a size 17 for me and my wrist is going to be a bit larger. It would go up to like here on me, but I have a very small wrist of about like five, five and a half inches. So this is greater for like a medium sized wrist, probably your average wrist sized person is going to be rocking this piece the price is fantastic that's why i included this one you guys pretty unbeatable price for this just on clue especially for the full set um yes exactly what isabel said take that into account you guys so this doesn't have its image with it i'm happy to give you all the detail you need if you're thinking about it but truly when i tell you this is in fantastic condition it's in fantastic condition and it's a full set. So whenever Isabel's ready, we'll get the price pinned on this piece. And then I'll show you the white gold option next, but this price point, run, 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 run. Don't walk for this one, you guys. All right, so this is available for 5,500 pounds, which is 6,840 USD. That is so, good below retail by a lot <laughs> y'all y'all don't say i never come through with the just some clues okay okay because yeah yeah the girls that get it get it <laughs> this is a deal of the century i'm gonna move on don't get your hopes up for the white gold. This yellow gold is an outlier. This is very special, very rare, full, full set, all bits, all pieces at that price. All right, gonna keep moving you guys. Thank you for the validation though on the pricing. <laughs> Appreciate it. 
appreciate you guys. So just to have the option, I do have a white gold, 18 karat white gold. Um, is that this is gonna be 130830. This one's gonna be a size 18, so one size above the last. It's in white gold. This one also comes with its box and its original receipt. I just don't have that on hand with me at this very moment, but it will come with it, so rest assured. Let's open it up. Also, you guys, I the last um, Just and Chloe sold to Harriet, I did meet up with her and drop it off to her in person. So if you guys are in the New York area, especially when it comes to these finer jewelry pieces, pieces that maybe you want to save on shipping or you don't trust to go in the mail, if you can make it to New York, I'm happy to meet up with you in a safe public location because the world is a scary place, okay? I'm not going to your apartment. I'm not going upstairs. We're meeting in a lobby or a cafe. Not that I don't trust you guys, but your girl's going to stay safe, okay? But I'm happy to do that for you guys. So if you're thinking about these pieces and you can make it to New York, that's always an option for you. Penny, I got to keep it real. Like, I love you guys, but I am not going up the elevator with you. Unless it's Ellen. I trust Ellen with my life. <laughs> Just kidding. But actually, <laughs> Ellen, hit me up. We are getting coffee at the least, lunch at the best, dinner, who knows? But we're doing something, girl. Please. <laughs> so anyways, back to the goods. White gold does go above for my... <laughs> you guys crack me up. I crack myself up. We're out here. Okay. Size 18. Full set again. Recently polished, pristine condition. This is gonna work better for my medium to maybe a larger size wristed friend. Again, just includes D-Run a little bit bigger. So it's a size 18, but it is in the white gold. Let's see. <laughs> Same class style as the last. And you guys see, be proud of me. That was like the first time I've been able to open a just on clue on the first go. I'm leveling up in life. You know you're getting to a better place in life when you can start figuring out the functionality of designer jewelry. <laughs> so this just has been pinned. We'll reveal the price momentarily on this as well. And then we're gonna keep moving. I think I'm doing good on timing. There's a few pieces to get through and then we'll do our recaps. Um, oh, duh girl, send me your list. I'll start hunting and sniffing around for you, Ellen. <laughs> So we're also under retail here. This is 6,400 pounds, which is 7,960 USD for the size 18 Cartier Just en Cle bracelet. I love saying that. Just en Cle in true French fashion. When in doubt in the French language, guys, if you see an O and a U, just kind of do a little cough sound like a uh, and then you'll sound just like a true Parisian. I took AP French, so I can say that. <laughs> okay. I'm off one, you guys. The Monday sillies are, they're coming for me and I'm, I apologize. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna do another ring. This is gonna be another fant <laughs> fantastic price point. Thank you guys for matching my energy. We're gonna do Z131779. And this is maybe my favorite piece here today. I love this so much. This is an 18 karat rose gold diamond ring with a total carat weight of 0.83 diamonds. Again, this is a custom piece from our jeweler here in New York City. So we'll just come as it is, but it is in a pristine custom, like never been worn piece. I will measure it and I will take my glove off because these little baggies are testing me. I love, 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 love the design of this. Okay, to the measuring stick we go. 6.25, so like a 6 to a 6.25 US size for this ring. Let me throw it on ye old finger. And I'm gonna flip the camera because this deserves a full glance. So it's kind of this loop knot motif covered in pave, micro pave diamonds. It is doubled on the side to give the illusion of a stack. So the pave diamonds are doubled and then you have the like slip knot motif. And then in the center of that, you have three larger diamonds, obviously one largest, a medium, and then another pave below. This is in rose gold. So the interior of the band is just straight up rose gold, which you guys have heard me preach about this, but honestly, 
Yeah, it's cool in theory to have pave diamonds go all the way around your ring, but for daily wear and for the comfort factor, I'm here to advise against that. I'm here to tell you that the rings where the pave stops on the side are the better move to go for. Long term, you're gonna thank me later, you're gonna be happier you went for that because quite frankly, a full micro pave band is not comfortable, not practical for daily wear. Where something like this gives you that illusion of a full blinged out icy ring, but you're more comfortable, you're more happy, and you're glad you listened to me <laughs> in the long run. So it has just been pinned. I'm showing you guys in the natural light. Definitely recommend clicking the description to see all of the details on this. Exactly. <laughs> I agree, Isabel. BB, I'm not sure. I would have to talk to them here to see if they can resize this for you. Um, it would, in theory, of course, you can size down on this or you can add a sizer B to it as well. I'm just not sure if the location here in New York City, if I can offer that with confidence for you. So definitely email me if you're thinking about it, if this doesn't sell and I can help you figure that out. But this price is a no, no brainer, you guys. No brainer point. Total carrot weight. Size five and yellow cool. BB, yes, please email me. Um, is there, can you type out my email? It's L Dunham, the letter L and my last name Dunham at luxurypromise.com. And I can ask and inquire for you and let you know. But 715 pounds, 890 USD. I should have included this in my early bird special as well. Nuts. So if this works for you, if this is a size that works for you, run. <laughs> You're just shy of a full carat worth of diamonds and 18 carat rose gold, but it's only $890. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Keep moving. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pieces to get through. And 30 minutes to do it. So chop, chop, Laura. Here we go. Full send, full speed ahead. I'm going to close out the rings we have today. This next one is next level. I do have some tidbits of information to tell you about this ring that will explain why the pricing is what it is. But this is going to be Z131777 and this is a 14 karat rose gold ring that features one and a half, 1.5 total carat weight of diamonds. <laughs> is that you're an icon <laughs> and we do have a very sizable center ruby stone however so first of all keep in mind one and a half total diamonds one and a half carat weight total diamonds so and a huge huge ruby so the pricing is as low as it is in retrospect for the specs of the diamonds and the stone because this ruby is a glass filled ruby so i was doing my research on this concept i mean i mean i mean i was doing my concept on my concept my research on this concept before going live and glass filled rubies is a concept that was kind of invented and worked on in the 1980s. So what this means is the ruby stone itself had imperfections, it had cracks or gaps or bubbles within the stone, but in the 80s they did manufacture a way to like very delicately, very tinily enter the stone and fill it. They used to use different materials, they used like lead and silica and other materials that I was reading this directly from the GIA website. There was like this huge PDF article about this process. So their consensus is it is a debated ethical concept in the world of fine jewelry. However, if you are going to get a filled stone of any sort, GIA does not necessarily frown upon a glass filled ruby they frown upon a silica filled one they frown upon a why am i forgetting the first thing i said having brain fart but there are other materials more so in the 80s that they were filling rubies with and that is going to be a no-no it's going to devalue it's not supported by gia 
but GIA does say that this does improve the look of an imperfect stone. You can kind of replenish the look, but it will result in it being worth less because it isn't a naturally flawless stone. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? <laughs> So you can see how the stone is set. It is raised a bit and the bottom of the ruby is going to appear more clear. Hopefully I'm doing a good job explaining this. I tried my best to figure out the meaning. So you can see at the bottom, it gets a bit more pinky and that's because I did fill it with glass more so at the bottom of the stone because the top of this ruby is still a like solid, red color is going to be on the lighter tone of a ruby it's not like a blood ruby or anything like that oh my god ellen i'm dead i'm dead that makes so much sense <laughs> well done ellen i love that but this is set in rose gold the design of this ring is stunning and those diamonds around make up 1.5 total carat weight so all in all it's up to you guys i'm curious to see how you feel about a glass fill ruby again it's debated but the glass filling if done correctly gia does not not support it they're just going to be straight up and tell you this is not a perfect flawless original natural stone but it looks good you know <laughs> that was the overall consensus i was find on the concept straight from gia i would love to talk to sarah about it and get more insight but I think even just for the diamonds, if you wanted to swap out the center stone, you could because it's still such a great price. This is available for 2,200 pounds, which is 2,735 USD. I have to keep moving. Instagram friends, I'm sorry, my phone is gonna die, so I gotta go, but join us at the website. I'll see you there. Sorry, Insta friends. This one just comes as is BB since this is made here in New York City by a private jeweler, not a brand, not a company. So it will come with a luxury promise dust bag, but that is it. So <laughs> I'll get the size for you guys. Um, <laughs> I still think you're getting over a carat of diamonds for that price plus that ruby. I don't know. I love this. You guys tell me your thoughts and opinions. Totally get it if it's not your thing, but I think it's awesome. So six and a half US size. All right, so gotta keep moving. We're short on time. I don't want to keep Isabel here past time. So we're gonna keep going. Okay. What should I do next? Van Cleef, David Yer. I haven't done David Yerman yet, so let's jump into DY land. We're gonna do 130870. I'm gonna knock both Yerman pieces out in a row. So this is our sterling silver David Yerman crossover Pave diamond band. It features 0.18 total carat weight of diamonds. I'll measure it first before I show you. I love this a lot. I think it's really, really cute for daily wear. All right, so this is gonna measure, I'm so sorry, I did not do this on purpose, but um, Sarah, 18 carat, I do have an 18 carat Van Cleef necklace coming up. And the other one I had was, let me double check the care away of this. That's 14, yeah. Just the one Van Cleef is gonna be my best 18 karat yellow gold piece I have today. I don't have any Cartier rings today. Just a love bracelet, two just on clothes, and a necklace is all I have from Cartier today and unbranded yeah i can try to bring more yellow gold 18 karat yellow gold unbranded next week for you so anyways i did this on accident you guys but we are looking at six and a half us size again for this um david yerman ring so again it features 0.18 total carat weight of diamonds but it is just one ring that's going to give off the illusion of a stack so you have one band that is covered in those pave diamonds at the back of this ring they all what was that word they are all going to meet and band together but from the front you get a careless easy breezy faux stack look so you have the david yearman house staple cable knit motif two cable knit bands one smooth band and then one micro pave diamond band in the faux stack that means together 
gorgeous condition. This will come as is, and that is factored in the price. This is going to be well below retail for you guys. So, and again, with all of these jewelry pieces, I sound like a broken record, but please look at the pictures in the descriptions. It helps me to help you if you do so, because my camera can only do so much. So, this is available for 440 pounds, which is 548 USD. All right, hang with me guys, we're almost to the end, and then it's recap time. I got you, we're almost there. Thank you for staying with me. If you've been with me this whole time, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, oops. Up next, we're gonna do the David Grimm bracelet. So this is going to be 130871, and this is sterling silver with a little bit of 14K yellow gold topaz seven millimeter cable classic cuff bracelet again it is just gonna come out it is with a luxury promise that's bad i love this one though so seven millimeters which is a nice medium thickness it's definitely thicker than your just on clue bracelets but it's not a wide cuff by any means really gorgeous so this one has the topaz stones to the end of it and then you see that little pop of the yellow gold you have the david yearman logo stamp to the hardware right here absolutely iconic it does kind of slightly stretch out a little bit i'm gonna see if i can get this on my wrist easy breezy so i have a smaller wrist so you can see a little bit of a gap here so i would say this works probably best for like a six and a half inch wrist if you want to wear it lower However, no matter what size you are, if you're below that, you can always wear it higher or even throw it over the sleeve of whatever it is you're wearing to help it sit a bit more snug. And that's honestly such a good look too. I love it. Good, Daniela. I, that's smart girl. I do the same thing all the time, especially with shoes. I've gone to like every brand to try on just so I know what size I am so that I can either buy it from Luxury Promise or if I see something on like Grailed or whatever it is, I already know my size, so I don't have to worry. <laughs> Pro tip guys, do that if you haven't already at your favorite brands. So this retails, I believe in the 900 USD mark, probably after taxes, you're very close to a thousand USD. So we have it available for 505 pounds or 629 USD, smart girl. <laughs> and it's in a pristine condition level with no call outs. All right, so those are the only David Gurman pieces I have today. Four more pieces to go, then it's recap time. I'm gonna try to get through these four in the next 10 minutes so that we can have 10 minutes of recap. So let's do something absolutely major up next for you guys. Let's see. We're gonna do 130895. This is an heirloom piece. And there are crazy savings to be had on this. This is our platinum and 18 karat yellow gold Tiffany and Co. Celeste double halo cushion pendant with a yellow diamond making up 0.73 total carat weight to the center. So I don't have it on hand with me right now, but this will come with its original Tiffany diamond certificate that will break down all of the information on in this necklace for you guys. Yeah, this is major. This is a glove situation. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. If someone buys this, I would probably cry because it's so major. Okay, let me delicately get this out. Whew. So this is going to be one length, but... Okay, my camera is not gonna... Here, let me turn this light off. Let's try that. Okay, I might be blown out now. No, this is definitely going to call for me to flip my camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, as I always say, please check out the um, images in the listing. 
Let me see if I can. Okay, there we go. Like, wow. Can we just take a moment? Can I see some hearts on the screen for this yellow diamond? So it's set in yellow gold. You have four yellow gold <clears throat> prongs around the diamond, and then it is set in a halo setting with two rows of Tiffany top-notch quality Pave diamonds. I mean, look at it from the side. You can see the beef of that yellow diamond sticking out there. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you guys are loving. Let's go to the natural light. I am being as delicate as possible with this piece for good reason, but this is heirloom. This is old money. This is the money shot. This is it. Yeah, this retails for over 16,000 and there is a lot of savings to be had on this. So it will come with its Tiffany original diamond certificate paperwork, which helps uh, maintain the value of this piece as long as you have that you're golden it won't come with a box or a pouch it will come with a luxury promise pouch but hi brenda how are you i know <laughs> the way i'm literally death gripping the chain right now but wow so it has just been pinned again it retails for over sixteen thousand usd your customs and duties are covered if you are international do you see the savings i came at with you guys today this is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five pounds which is twelve thousand four hundred and thirty one usd retails for over sixteen thousand comes with its tiffany diamond paperwork it goes without saying for tiffany the quality of the stones and it's top of the top but that oh god okay so take a look at the images because my camera cannot do this the justice that it deserves it's pinned if there's questions let me know i know this is a big purchase this is what i call an heirloom purchase something that will go down for generations and generations absolutely magical and you can use split it which you could not do that if you walked into tiffany and co to try to buy this so try to get you guys some savings and you can use split it Okay, okay, three more pieces. So next up, we're gonna do one, two, four, one, seven, nine. It's a large love bracelet, I know. Hannah, someone get that. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna do one, two, four, one, seven, nine. And this is our 18 karat white gold Cartier love bracelet in a size 20. I don't often, I don't know if I ever have brought you guys a size 20 Cartier love bracelet before so if you've been waiting for a larger size or maybe you want to give this for a special dude in your life whatever it is we've got a bigger size option for you so this will come with its box its certificate of authenticity the screwdriver of course and even the original receipt so this will be a true full set right now i only have the bracelet on hand with me but let's show it anyways <laughs> Oh my god, Iza, I am jealous. That is amazing. What color did you go for? Okay, so here it is, size 20. White gold. Love bracelet. There's a little bit of minor hairline scratches, so I'm tempted to give this more of an 8 out of 10 condition versus a 10 out of 10 condition, but it is very, very minor. This will be polished before it leaves here. And this is a size 20. So whenever it is ready, we'll get this price pinned or item pinned and the price will be up. And then I just have two more pieces to go and then it's recap time. We're almost there. I'm gonna power through the last two. And then you guys, you better come through for me for the recap, okay? You better come through. There's how the blue sapphire ring, the diamond white gold, the pendant necklace, the Tiffany necklace. Just saying, there's so many good pieces today. So, and your customs and duties are only covered too if you purchase during the live show. All right. So whenever Isa is ready. Boop. Boop. <laughs> we will get this up and available. All right. It has just been pinned. Do. 
<laughs> Brenda, don't apologize, Queen. Are you kidding? No need for that. All right. Oh, thank you, Queen. So this is available for 5,895 pounds, which is 7,332 USD. And it is pinned. I gotta go fast, you guys. Two more pieces to go, then we will do recaps. So get your recaps ready. I am gonna do our watch up next though. So this is gonna be 130280. Let me pull it up so I have the proper specs for you guys. So this is gonna be the Rolex Oyster Perpetual. The model number is 76080. And this is a woman's watch in stainless steel. Ooh, ooh. Isa, you better drop pictures when you get it. All right. So this is going to come, I believe, yeah, just as is. Case width is going to be 24 millimeters for this watch. So dainty and very feminine. It's in an excellent condition level. You do get a one year warranty with all watch purchases from Luxury Promise. Um, as said, it is seen the steel with a flip buckle tight to the back with that iconic Rolex house signature logo there. Um, the band length is going to measure six inches on this. It's water resistant up to 100 feet. It has a smooth bezel type. Obviously the case is in a round shape and the case height is 9.4 millimeters and this is going to be an automatic kinetic movement for the watch. So my tiny wrist friends for the girlies out there like me a 24 millimeter face is going to work perfectly for you if you aren't after that bold statement look. If you want something that's more daily use friendly, this is a fantastic option. So it is in a pristine condition level. Only thing not pristine is that it won't come with its box or papers, but no call outs here. And the price point is chef's kiss amazing. 3,525 pounds which is 4,385 USD. All right, so if there's questions on this, let me know. I know, I don't know why I only included one watch today in all honesty, <laughs> should have brought more, but just if she speaks to you, if the price point works, remember you can use Split It. This would be a fantastic piece to finance via Split It, but let me know if there's any questions. And then we have the grand finale piece coming at you up next you guys are you ready for some van cleat it's one tone it's all stainless steel brenda for the chain links all stainless steel okay so last but not least we have 129664 and this is going to be our 18 karat yellow gold van cleef and arpels frivole pendant in size mini and uh, yeah of course Brenda. it features 0.21 total carat weight of diamonds it will come with its box and its certificate of authenticity and it's stunning save the best for last that's what i do and then get your recap requests ready you guys i don't want to leave this room without a single thing getting a home so i'm gonna at least get the blue sapphire ring at least there's so many good pieces okay and I thought I popped off with the Just Some Clue pricing today. I really thought I did. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is stunning. So for my 18 karat yellow gold girlies, these small size. Let me flip the camera. <laughs> Hannah, that's a valid excuse. I'll let you have that. Um, let me check for that Rolex. Sometimes I have the years, sometimes I don't. Um, I don't know if I do have the info on the year. Sometimes we don't, depending on who decided to sell the watch, how it ended up here. Some pieces will have a like full breakdown of the day, other pieces it gets lost in translation as it goes through the market. So I'm just going to double check on the handwritten note here. I, I do have a serial number. 
the serial number, if you want to try to look it up, is Y95551. I don't have the year, but that is... Oh, wait, I do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Written in the corner here. 2002 is the year for this relic. So she's what? Is she 21 years old? 2002 for that watch. Brenda. No worries, Em. I'm glad you guys are loving it at least. That makes me happy. As long as it's entertaining and we can geek out together, that's what's most important to me. But also, you guys know I love Wendy's pieces at home. Okay, so in better quality so you guys can see. I feel like I need to go against the black carpet for it not to... God, it's just too shiny. Where can I go to show? <laughs> so it's a small size. Alhambra Frivole. So all of the petals are fully set with Micropave diamonds. You have a larger diamond to the center here. 18 karat yellow gold. Stunning chain, even the chain sparkles. And then at the end of the chain, you do have some adjustability and you have the iconic VCA done to the clasp. This is in a pristine bubble. It's been polished. There's no condition um, call outs. Isn't that one amazing, BB? I think I might have to agree with you on that. So I will measure this piece for you guys very carefully. So from the clasp, it is going to measure um, about eight, so 16 inches at its longest, 16 inches at the longest up to fourteen. Fourteen to sixteen inch drop length for this Van Cleef necklace. It does come as a full set and it is available for three thousand three hundred pounds, which is four thousand one hundred and five USD. So with that being said, you guys, thank you. It is now time for recaps for the next six minutes. Your customs and duties will still be covered, but please let me know if there's anything I can recap and show again for you guys. If there's any questions you may have, any way I can help while I'm still live with you here, please, now is the time to let me know if I can help in any way. So it's officially recap o'clock. Let's make a deal. What can we do? Let a girl know, and I'm here to help you guys. If not though, tomorrow I'm doing an all Hermes show. So if you guys have been on the hunt for anything specific from Hermes, make sure to email me so that I can possibly source it and bring it for you tomorrow. Wednesday is going to be my best of under 2,000 pound bag show. So all things bags, all under 2,000 pounds, like kind of a midweek deal show. And then Thursday, I am bringing back the Chanel show. Last Chanel show was amazing. You guys loved it. I had so much fun hosting it. So gonna do another all things Chanel show for you upcoming on Thursday. So those are the rest of my shows for this week to look out for. You will see me pop up later in the week here and there, moderating shows for the ugly other lovely ladies. And luxury promise, Daniela, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, you guys, if there's any questions, oh my God, bye. I'll put this light on me like this. If there's any questions, even if you want to just ask me a personal question, I will stay on for the next four minutes. That is it. So you guys have me for four minutes. Do with that what you will. Okay. <laughs> so remember, I mean, I don't even know where to show you. There was so much good stuff. So much goodness. Yeah, the Van or the Tiffany necklace, Van Cleef necklace, 2002, Rolex Datejust, Worcester, um, David Yerman, of course, Brenda. Thank you, Aqua. Thank you, guys. I'm just gonna get reorganized over here. Don't forget the Just Some Clues, you guys. The Just Some Clues, I mean, everything is up on the website. So if anyone's been on the hunt for a good just on clear bracelet 
or under retail. Let your friends know. And what am I wearing for my wedding? That's a brilliant question. Technically, I'm going to need to have three looks because I'm technically legally going to get married at a courthouse. So I need a courthouse cheek look. Then I'm going to elope in Japan. So I need the proper elopement full glam moment. But then I'm also going to have a reception party with friends and family in California. So then I need a reception look. So your girl is stressed because I have three looks to plan for for you guys. <laughs> Crazy. I'll, I'm going to save the turn locks for my Chanel show on Thursday. Turn locks Thursday. All right. Okay, guys, I am going to hop off. Let's relieve Iza of her duties. Iza, you're amazing. Thank you for being a champ for me today. You know I appreciate you. You know I love you. And <laughs> there will be a lot of pics. There will be a lot of Instagram posts when the time comes. I know. It just makes more sense. I'd rather ball out with my wedding budget on a like trip of a lifetime and be there for a month and do everything I've ever dreamed of doing in Japan then waste it on serving food to people I haven't spoken to in years. You feel me? No shade to a traditional wedding. Just not for me. Not my jam. So we're going to treat ourselves in Japan instead. But still have a party afterwards with friends and family. Period. Period. And you guys, when I go to Japan, if you want me to do a little vintage shopping for you, happy to do so because I am so excited to do that. <laughs> Cayenne, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I know a little bit, like I can speak like an elementary level of Japanese, so I definitely need to keep practicing before the time comes, but your girl is ready. Your girl has dreamed of this. All right, enough ranting, you guys. Is that have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Nadia, my angel, thank you. I am glad you enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for brightening up my Monday and have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Bye, friends.